During a three-year collegiate career at Tennessee State, Truck Robinson scored 2,249 points and pulled down 1,501 rebounds while leading the Tigers to a 70-16 record. He was a two-time UPI All-American and led Tennessee State to three consecutive NCAA tournament appearances. As a junior, Robinson guided the Tigers to the 1973 NCAA National Championship game and averaged a remarkable 25.7 points and a school record 17.6 rebounds for the season. During a three-year collegiate career at Tennessee State, Robinson scored 2,249 points and pulled down 1,501 rebounds while leading the Tigers to a 70-16 record. He was a two-time UPI All-American and led Tennessee State to three consecutive NCAA tournament appearances. Truck Robinson inductee into the 2018 class of the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame. Well, it's really nice being here. Uh, I've had a lot of awards, a lot of accolades and everything, and I'd like to uh, say quickly that, uh, as my other uh, uh, gentleman has spoke about, none of this uh, wouldn't be possible for me. Uh, I have to go to my mother. Uh, my mother had me when I was 43 years, when she was 43 years old, and I'm the baby of her 12 children. And my daddy died five years after I was born, so growing up the way we grew up, uh, not having, of course, like today, like my kids and, and all that, uh, no credit cards, no cars, moving all the time. And it was just a tough life. And all of us had a tough life, a lot of gentlemen. And I didn't know what I would become at all. You know, my brothers uh, and all was working. So I figured, well, I'll be working like them someday. And my mother used to instill in me and great things and tell me that uh, I was her last baby and that she gave me to the Lord to look after. And of course, being young, it's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's, why, that's why I don't have any shoes or wearing, wearing the same pair of pants. And she used to tell me, well, you know, your clothes are clean and mama doing the best you can because she never worked. My mother never drove a car. So I came from a tough time and to, uh, to be here after the tough times, I like to tell the young guys, when you don't think you can make it and you want to do something that you may not can do, you really can do it. I know your teachers and people have told you that for many years that you can be and do anything you want to be. And of course, being young like I was, that was like impossible. There's just no way I'm going to be like I am today. So to be here, I'd like to thank my uh, college coach who uh, recruited me from Jacksonville, Florida, all the way to Nashville, Tennessee. He claimed that <clears throat> He beat me in ping pong, and I had to follow him to Tennessee to try to get back. But he's no longer with me. He passed away in 2001. And then my teammates, all of us have had sacrifices from our teammates to make us what we are. And you young guys, y'all going to go through that. You always going to have someone going to shoot a little more, score a little more, get a little more publicity than you get. And so I'd like to thank all my teammates that I played with in college because they sacrificed their games. and. A lot of times they had a chance to be successful and they were looking for old Leonard. I was Leonard then. <laughs> and, uh, and then, uh, well, I can say my college coach and uh, them. I'd like to say one thing to the young guys <clears throat> real quick about being successful. Of course, they see me. I've stood by many of them. I'm not as tall as many of them. I'm a little bigger now than I'm six or seven. But uh, you guys can get it done, believe me. Uh, my records in college, like I was, I didn't play center, I was a forward, we had a 6'6 six, six guy play center. But people would just be amazed, like, I can't believe we can whoop those guys, we're gonna kill those guys. And you can get things done. You really can get things done. Uh, in 1977, 78, I laid the lead in rebounding with seven footers, seven two, seven three, seven four guys. And people were like, well, there's no way that guy could have done that. So you can get it done. And all of that come from my background. It come from my teammates helping me when I was a young rookie in the league. Uh, when I was a freshman, I took a job from a guy that was a senior. He's never been upset about that, even today. His name uh, Tony Mormon. And I was just amazed that if I was a senior and a freshman took my job, I don't think I would like that. But he used to help me on defense and tell me things to do. So I've come a long ways with a lot of people helping me out. So I want you guys to understand that too. If you are God, you have to take care of rock. Uh, I coached, uh, because I coached Cousin this first year in the NBA. <laughs> but uh, you gods take care of rock. 
you can't pass it around like it's just you know some beans. You got to, you got to handle that ball like it's a piece of gold, and your passes must be either 85 or a little more percent. You can't throw 50 50 passes. I tell people all the time, if, if I was coaching young guys and they threw the ball away all the time, they'll be sitting by me. And you guys that, number two guys that's supposed to put it in the hole, you have to just put it in the hole. You know, people say, that's a lot of pressure on me. It's no pressure on me. If you're a two guard and you're a shooter, you got to show the coach why he's playing you and you got to put it in the hole. You're supposed to play defense. I play with many guys that play defense and my coach tell them, don't you shoot. Dennis Rotman threw the ball. He, he have a layup and he'll throw it 20 feet back out to Michael Jordan. Now. So you need everybody to be successful doing what they can do. If you're a big guy, you're supposed to get the ball off the glass, you have to go get it off the glass. I mean, it's just that simple. It was no secret how I did it. People want to know, oh, man, you was out there beating up people, out jumping everybody. Couldn't jump over a quarter, you know, so to speak. But if you want to go get it, you have to learn how to go get it. Let somebody help you go get it. And you just have to go get it. Okay, if you're a shot blocker, you got to block shots. You can't be out there shooting threes. So those are little tips I want to share with you guys. I'd like to thank John. <laughs> I'd like to thank John and his committee because this is a wonderful night for me. Wonderful. This will be in my office where I can walk in my office and see it every time I walk in. And my kids and grandkids would love this uh, long after I've left. So I thank all you guys, all the committed people, and all you guys from coming here to uh, honor us on an occasional night. Thank you very much.